Hello. Day two was yesterday and I had my hair cut. So big thanks to Donna at Adrian Rowe in Norwich. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how much longer I've got it left, but um, it'll be easier when it goes and it's easier for me right now just to um, get through the next few days. So really love it. Hi Herbie. Um, uh, feeling day three now. Um, so first dose was of my doxy was Wednesday and this is now Saturday. Um, so Wednesday's one, two, three, six, day four, day four. Ugh. So day one is the day you have a chemo, day two is day after and so on, so on up till 21 and you start at day one again or whatever the cycle is. So mine is a 21 day cycle. Um, I still haven't got my cover for my pick line. So um, having to use cling film and hang my arm out of the bath. So it's not ideal. I really just want a lovely shower, especially because I've got little bits of hair everywhere, but um, we're getting there. Um, so my advice is if you know you're having a pick line in, just say somebody ordered me a cover because they have to order it um, as a prescription for you and they're quite expensive. I've looked online and they sort of range up to 30 odd quid. And on top of having to pay so much out and losing money with um, sick pain stuff, you don't need it. So make sure you get your prescriptions because you get your prescriptions free of charge um, when you're being treated for cancer. Um, right, how am I feeling today? This is probably the worst day. So not absolutely horrendous. I've not been bedridden, but I do feel very, very sick. And my mouth is starting to feel very sore. So I've got my um, costal mouthwash, non-alcoholic, really um, uh, antiseptic mouthwash because I can actually feel it. I feel, right, it's going to sound disgusting, okay? <laughs> but I feel like I've been up all night partying. Um, that's that's how my sort of body and sickness and that feels. And you know when you just want the, the fry up or the something or other to get it out of your system? I couldn't face that. I really couldn't. But I feel quite sick. Um, and I also can feel my head tingling. Um, and I have sort of seen somewhere that that could be the follicle starting to break down. So it does feel like a fluey tingle but without the flu. So, it, you know, when you get cold or you, you sort of get a bit scared or something, you get that hair on the back of your neck stick it up so that's how that feels um my stomach's a bit knotted um i feel really bloated so um i've been putting peppermint into my water so just a little bit of peppermint oil and that's helping freshen my mouth and i've just gone into the kitchen and um i bought some reduced fruit and i've made a load of smoothies and frozen them so they're all ready to go so i can just take one out of the freezer in the morning so um they're stocked up and if i feel a bit bleh, i can possibly add some protein powder in there's some match or something to boost it up. A little bit breathless today. Went to um, Aldi with Rachel and um, just helped her get some groceries. And I just, um, by the time I came out of there, I was just ready for bed, just totally exhausted. It's hard to explain, because like I said, it just, it does feel like it's a hangover, but there's no happy memories. There's no, what did I do last night? I know what I did last night. I watched some TV and fell asleep. Um, so that's a bit of a picture, really, excuse my French. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all it is, and I don't look too bad. Um, I've been coping with the injections really well. I just get out of the fridge, go into my bathroom, swab with my alcohol wipe, and just do it. So um, if I think about it, I think it's gonna be like, Bleh, but I don't, just do it. So that's really it, day four. So see how we go tomorrow. I'm gonna try and get to the gym tomorrow, and even if I do do a treadmill, I just feel like I need to stretch out and let go. Um, and get things on and then tomorrow is going to be a pamper night as well um i've got a card reading book to do too so i'm looking forward to that so it's keeping me going and i'm journaling i love my journaling so keep journaling keep writing how you're feeling talk it out um i live on my own apart from my little beasties but um, i can hear the birds outside now with the twilight so it's my little outside lights um so they're all getting ready for bed. All the cats are in. Well, Sam might see when he goes out. So I'm going to see how I feel about eating, what I want to eat. Um, one thing I've noticed walking around shops, I'm looking at stuff and thinking, but I want to eat. I feel hungry, but I just, it's sort of, it's here. I just think things have stopped tasting already. Um, it's just possibly quicker than what I thought. So I've also made some ice pop smoothies. Um, so if I don't feel like eating, 
heartbreaking. I had a jelly baby. It didn't taste of anything. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> okay. Um, so I've got cooking oils and things and start spending time with spice. Spice up your life. Colours of the world. Sorry, you didn't deserve me to sing Spice Girls, really, did you? So here I am, Saturday night, four days in, and going, okay. Um, I've been watching some um, catch-up stuff, which has been good, and doing some training and writing. So um, I'm just keeping busy and just staring at the sky sometimes and just thinking, I have no idea. Um, how I got here and that's not the question is it it's where I go to so much love to you all thank you for tuning in tonight and just remember that um you're not alone we're all out there supporting each other at the moment and if anybody um knows my mum um I went to see her yesterday bless her after I had my hair done I just wanted her to see that I was all right and I know that she's finding this quite tough and for the people around you it's really tough for my daughter and for my mum um and my sister and brother and possibly some of you guys too because I love you dearly it's tough because you're not in control. Um, there's not a lot you can do. You can't put plaster on me. Um, there's not a lot. So I just want you to know that I know you're there. And I really do want you to know that it's going to be okay. And that we just go through these things sometimes. And that's the way it is. And had this been 100 years ago, it would have been a different story. So I am grateful. I am so grateful. Um, so yeah if you know somebody who's with somebody um, one of the things my mum has asked people keep ringing her and asking how it's going and what's happening and I think she's having to repeatedly say um, oh she started keeping her. and I think it's embedding quite harshly for her so just bear in mind that people might not want to talk about it maybe just want to talk about some really good stuff but there again they might want to talk about it so it's just just questioning as we say in um, counselling, it's asking the questions. So please don't assume that people want to talk about it and please don't assume that we all want to go public and please don't assume that um, we want to learn about somebody else's story as well. <laughs> that's, that's happened a few times. So that's, that's my little tip of dealing with people who are going through it, just give them what they need. And uh, right now I need smiles. So I'm going to go and get into my PJs. I mean, it's like, I love this. I think it's like £1.50 from a charity shop and it's just, it's a, it's a bloke's, I don't care. It's a bloke's jumper, it's comfy. Um, so be comfy, be happy. Catch you soon, love you lots. Bye.